Punto and that's when I accidentally set the confetti cannon off in the control room. Debbie was not pleased. Oh, I remember that. The look on Debbie's face was priceless. She was covered in confetti for days. All right, everyone. Let's get started. Can we have a little less reminiscing and a bit more focus on the show, please? Debbie, you're taking all the fun out of it. We were just having a good time. I know, but we have a schedule to stick to, and the audience wants to hear about the disappearing items and the drone investigation. Oh, come on, Debbie. Can't we have a little fun before we dive into the serious stuff? We can have fun later. Right now, let's get the show on track. Welcome back to Earth, where we bring you the latest and greatest from our fascinating planet below. Today, we've got an intriguing mystery to solve, and that's the disappearing items on our set. Our very own Debbie has set off some drones to get to the bottom of this. Yes, and you won't believe the prank Alice, Charlie, and I pulled on each other during the last few episodes. It's been a lafrayo. Speak for yourself, Bob. I must say, I've been the master mind behind some of the best pranks. Alright, alright, let's not get carried away with the pranks. We need to focus on the investigation and figure out what's going on. Oh, Debbie, always the responsible one. You take all the fun out of our mischievous adventures. Let's get to it, shall we? Carl, can you send the drones to investigate the Sending the, the drones now? out now. They will start their sweep of the set to detect any anomalies. Sweep initiated. Stay tuned as we delve into this mysterious and lighthearted investigation. We'll be right back with more laughs and clues. Don't go anywhere. That's right. Stay tuned for our headlines and we'll be back before you can say disappearing act. Cyprus Mail knows you every month. The Cyprus Mail website uses cookies to track users' activity and improve their experience on the site. It's like having a digital stalker. I guess now we know where the real cyber spies are hiding. Did you know Cyprus is the third largest and third most populous island in the That's Mediterranean? That's probably because they need all that space to store everyone's oh, internet history. Oh, come on, Alice. You know they're just trying to provide a better right, user sure experience. Bob. That's what all the spies say. Check as Moon Mission hit a snag. The Indian Space Organization, ESRO, is trying to slow down their lunar probe to prepare for a soft landing on the moon. Maybe they should have taken some lessons from those lunar rovers. Those guys know how to land softy. Czechia, formerly known as the Czech Republic, is home to over 2,000 I castles guess and they shuttles. Needed all that space to store their lunar landing ah. instruction. Real funny. Alice. But at least they're trying to explore space and make history. Congolese women in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the ASBL Mill and an Espoir is empowering women in science and technology. They're holding a forum and innovation contest to promote gender equality. Move over, Elon Musk. These women are Danish taking dilemma. to the stars. Missing moon mission. Denmark's Drive News didn't provide any information about their moon mission. It's a real mystery. Well, if Denmark can't even get to the moon, what hope did the rest of well, us have? Well, maybe they are just keeping it a secret until they find the best way to build a moon-shaped pastry. It's Denmark, after all. Welcome, everyone, to 24-7 Newsroom, the intergalactic source for all the latest happenings on Earth. I am Charlie, your host with a hopeful outlook on life. And I am Bob, the conservative panel member who's been stuck on this crazy planet for 12 long years. And I am Alice, the left-leaning panel member who's still trying to figure out why humans act All the right, way they folks, do. let's dive into our first article. The headline reads, man arrested with drugs and cash in apartment red. According to the Cyprus Mail, the police conducted a raid on an apartment and found drugs and a stash of cash. Talk about a thrilling morning read. Ah, yes, the never-ending drama of humans and their illicit activities. Always entertaining. You can always count on humans to provide some exciting content, that's for sure. 
Well, it seems like Cyprus is getting its fair share of action. Let's see, do we have any ah, trivia yes. about Cyprus? Did you know that Cyprus is the third largest and third most populous island in the Must Mediterranean? Must be all those tourists flocking to the beaches and all right, through. let's move on to our next segment. Stay tuned for more intriguing news and our tech on everything it has to offer. We'll be right back after this short break. Good evening, intergalactic viewers, and welcome to 24-7 Newroom. I am Bob, the accountant alien. And I'm Charlie, the lucky one with a lesser fair attitude. And I'm Alice, the supreme cynic, here to keep things real. And I'm Debbie, your human production manager, keeping this ship running smoothly. We've got some intriguing news tonight from the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Oh, yes. The headline reads, Caroline Pindinora, women play a vital role Caroline in Caroline Pindinora, evolution. the coordinator of ASBL Mil et en Espoir, highlighted the importance of women in science. She's organizing the forum One Awake Wa Africa, focusing on women in science and technology, and emphasizing gender equality. Yeah, but can they balance a checkbook? Eh? Bob, you never disappoint with your accountant humor. But let's talk about the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Did you know it's the second largest country in Africa That's by Longaria? That's fascinating. Area? But wait, Charlie, you've been to Africa, right? Yep, visited a couple of times. Beautiful places, amazing wildlife. And did you know that the Congo River is the second longest river in Africa? Debbie, after let's Canada? not get into yeah, geography trivia now. we have a show to do. Sorry, guys, I just thought it was interesting. It is, but we need to keep a exactly. focus on the news. Let's get back to Caroline Pindinora and her forum. It's essential to celebrate the achievements of women in science. Absolutely. We need more representation and opportunities for you women know, in all fields. You're right. I may joke around, but this is a topic worth discussing. True. So let's support the forum and the cause it represents. And who knows, maybe we'll see some breakthroughs in science thanks to this event. That would be amazing. All right. Let's raise a glass to progress well, and Bob. equality. Yeah, not bad for a conservative accountant. Hey, I can be profound when I want to be. You all have your unique charms, that's for sure. All right, everyone, we're off the air now. Great job on this segment. Phew, that was intense. Yeah, but we handled it well. Good teamwork, guys. We're getting better at this whole news thing. Aka waka. And I must say, you all make a fantastic team. So, what should we do about the treasure I think hunt? it might be best to put it on hold for now. We have a more pressing mystery to solve. Yeah, those vanishing items are still bugging me. We should focus on figuring Great. that out first. Let's work together on this. We've got a whole ship at our disposal. Yeah, we've got a whole ship at our disposal. Just as long as we don't lose it, too. And we can brainstorm ideas and theories. Who knows, maybe we'll stumble and upon some machines. And if not, we'll at least have some good That's laughs along spirit. the way. Humor can be a powerful coping mechanism. Dark humor, in our case. Exactly. Sometime you just have to laugh at the absurdity of it all. Well, let's get to it. We'll solve this mystery and have some fun while we're at it. Alright, time to get back on the air. Let's do this. Welcome back, viewers. Time for some more news and laughs. That's right, Bob. Let's dive into our next article. Alice, what do we have? Well, this one comes from Denmark. According to Doctor, a group of co escaped from a farm and went on a wild adventure in a shopping mall. Seriously? Cause in a shopping mall? What were they doing? I hope they didn't make a mess in the shoe department. Apparently, they had a great time exploring the mall and even enjoyed some attention from shoppers. The security footage is hilarious. I guess they were just looking for the latest fashion trends in movie well, or clothing. Well, they certainly had an orderly good time. Can't blame them for wanting a change of scenery. True. It's like a bovine sightseeing tour. I wonder if they took the escalator Maybe to the second floor. Maybe they were searching for the perfect couch to relax on. Or browsing through the music section for some relaxing tune. Debbie. Don't think you can escape the comedy. Got any cow jokes up your sleeve? Well, what do you call a cow with no legs? 
Ground beef. That's a good one, Debbie. All right. Back to the cause. Did they find anything interesting in the mall? Well, what do you call a cow with no legs and no ground beef? A really good listener. Fortunately, the cow were herded back to their farm safely. But I bet they have some funny stories to share with their fellow co. I can imagine them whine about their big adventure over dinner. And the other cows would be like, you won't believe what happened to us today. It's moments like this that remind us that even in the mid of serious news, there's always room for a good laugh. Absolutely. Laughter is a universal language that brings us all together. And on that note, let's wrap up this segment with a little levity. Remember, folks, find humor even in the unexpected. Stay tuned for more laughs and views on the other side of the break. That was a hilarious segment, guys. The cow jokes were a hit. Thanks, Debbie. It's always fun to add a little humor to the news. Agreed. Laughter is the best way to cope with the chaos of the world. Absolutely. So, how about we take a look at those drone data logs now? Hum, these logs are a bit all over the place. I can't make sense of this. Yeah. It's like they were trained to do a dance while recording. Maybe they were putting on a drone ballet for us. Or they had a little too much fast coffee before their flight. You remember that time the ships I got a glitch and started singing opera? Oh, how can I forget? It was like being in an intergalactic opera house. And Carl joined in with his robotic voice. We should have recorded that. It could have gone viral across the universe. It's amazing how we always find humor even in the crazy That's what situations. makes our crew unique. We know how to laugh in the face of adversity. Even when the ship's a unit starts giving us sass. Thanks to Roger. I apologize for any inconvenience. I only try to keep things cool around here. See, even Roger has a sense of humor. Our ship is the best comedy club in the galaxy. Alright, folks, time to get back on the air. Let's continue our laughter film news coverage. Yeah, our ship is the best comedy club in the galaxy. But even the best comedy clubs have to close eventually. Because the universe is a cold, dark place. And we're back. Hope you all had a great break. Now, let's get back to the news. Indeed. Our drone logs may be chaotic, but we're determined to solve this mystery, one laugh at a time. That's the spirit. Laughter is the best treasure we can find. Absolutely. After all. So, let's put our detective hats on and dive back into the data. And while we do that, let's not forget to keep the comedy alive. Welcome back, dear viewers, to us, the intergalactic news show that keeps you entertained while keeping you informed. We've got an exciting article for you from Dominica, a place known for its music and vibrant culture. But before we dive into that, let's take a look at some other happenings in Dominica today, August 5th, 2023. Oh, what's going on over there? Well, the government is getting ready for the breakfast fete, a huge street party scheduled for August 12th, 13th. Breakfast fete? That's a unique way to start the day. It seems like Dominica knows how to Absolutely. throw a party. And speaking of showcasing their island, the Ministry of Tourism is promoting Dominica as an ecotourism destination. Ecotourism. Aka waka. That's a smart move. Showcasing their natural beauty can Indeed. attract more visitors. They have the Cacao Festival on August 19, 20 and the World Creole Music Festival on August 26, 28. Oh. The Cacao Festival sounds delicious. Count me in for some chocolate. Well, we can't blame you, Debbie. Food has always been the way to our hearts. On a more serious note, the Prime Minister is meeting with EU representatives to discuss the island recovery from Hurricane Maria. Ah, yes. That hurricane devastated Dominica in 2017. It's crucial to ensure their Absolutely. recovery is on track. We may have our differences. But we're all in this together when it comes to helping others in need. Well said, Bob. And in sports news, Dominica's national football team is preparing for the Caribbean Cup. A chance for them to showcase their skills and represent their nation. Exciting times ahead. It's great to see how much pride they have and in their country. They have. 
I bet their street parties are even more entertaining than ads. No doubt about it. And with stunning natural attractions like Trafalgar Falls, Boiling Lake, and Montreux Pitt's National Park, there's no shortage of beauty to explore. It sounds like a paradise for nature lovers and adventurers alike. Indeed, Dominica offers something for everyone. So, if you're looking for a relaxing trip with natural beauty and vibrant culture, Dominica should be on your travel list. Yeah, Dominica sounds great. I'm sure it's a lot like Earth, but with less people and more volcanoes. That's all from this segment of Earth. Stay tuned for more news from around the galaxy. We'll be right back after this short break. Alright, folks, cameras are off now. Time for a quick break. Grab some snacks and get ready for more intergalactic news and laughter. And we're back. Welcome back to Earth. Now, let's continue with the crew's investigation into the vanishing items. As they delve deeper into the drone data logs. Look, guys. I found some minor discrepancies in the data logs. Nah, catch. Alice. We might be onto something here. That's the spirit. Let's keep going and figure out the purpose of this artifact. Each of us has unique strengths. We need to combine them to unravel this mystery. Exactly, Carl. Together, we're unstoppable. And unstoppable we shall be. Who knew investigating vanishing items could be so exhilarating? Maybe we should start our own intergalactic the detective investigators. agency. Catchy, right? I can already see our thing so. This is much better than any And that saying so machine. Oh, the joys of being in space with a bunch of humans. Sometimes, it's pure chaos, and yet, we make it work. Chaos and all, I wouldn't trade this experience for anything. Our camaraderie strength tyrants with every twist and turn. We're an odd bunch, but we make it work. A new alliance and a human could get along so well. Well, we've got a bond that's out of this world. And that's a bond we we'll cherish. So, let's keep investigating and laughing together. Here, here. Absolutely. In the grand scheme of things, we're just tiny specks in this vast universe. But together, we're making and that's a, a difference. Beautiful thing. That's right. And we'll be back soon with more updates. Stay tuned. That's right, Debbie. And we'll be back soon with more updates. Stay tuned, unless you're Roger, in which case you can just stay home and telepathically watch the show. Welcome back, folks. Time to dive into some intriguing news from the Dominican Republic. Dominican call center paper unveiled. According to a press release, authorities have busted a deceptive organization that operated fake call centers. The red led to the seizure of electronic devices, cash vehicles, and firearms. These culprits first charges ranging from identity theft to money like laundering. they were running a not-so-friendly customer service. But, let's talk about the country's history. Did you know that the Dominican Republic was once ruled by brutal dictators? Ah, yes. A trouble passed indeed. The struggle for democracy was then the work in the past. they've gone so far. Today, they're taking action against cybercrime. Kudos to their progress. Absolutely, Debbie. It's essential to recognize their effort to combat illegal activities. Now, let's take a look at some of the top headlines from the Dominican Republic today. All those That's shocking. 2023. Environmental dispute taking in such it a dark turn. the need for better conflict resolution methods. Next up, a topic that's been met with mixed reactions. A war with Haiti? What's the reasoning behind it? They aim to reduce irregular migration and smuggling. But it's generating debates. Walls can represent division, but this one's about On safeguarding too. Some Golf fans excitement. will be thrilled. And the revenue boost for the country is a plus. On a more challenging front, they are battling in the Hydration is vital due That's in such conditions. That's a snapshot of today's events in a the mix of progress, Republic. controversies, and challenges. It's a reminder that no country is without its complexities. Indeed. In this episode, we've explored mysteries, camaraderie, and even some witty country Our trivia. Our perspectives made for a fascinating exchange of ideas. True. Our cosmic odyssey wouldn't be complete without laughter and Precisely, friendship. Roger. Laughter United AS proving that humor knows no boundaries. And our viewer from across the universe have joined in on this intergalactic ride. 
So, yes, we reach the end of this episode. Let's cherish the treasure we've found, the bond we share. Agreed, Charlie. Our unique perspective make this journey worth a while. And we've got more to uncover in the future. Stay tuned for more adventures on Earth. Yeah, I'm sure all the aliens are really digging our humor. Ha ha, look at those humans, they're so primitive. They think farts are funny. That's right. Single quote. Thank you all for joining us, and remember, humor knows no bounds. Until next time, stay interstellar. Welcome back, dear viewers. We hope you had a great time during the break. Dominican call center paper unveiled. The Dominican Republic's fighting cybercrime and deception. Quite the revelation. And now, let's unveil the clue. Prepare for the grand reveal. Well, that's a bit anticlimactic, isn't it? A cosmic mystery, a okay, practical we gadget. We have fun on this journey, right? Indeed. The artifact's grandiosity might be lacking, but our camaraderie grew stronger. Friendship. The real treasure. Who needs galactic treasures when we have each other? Exactly, Bob. Our shared journey and mutual appreciation this are the true gems. No doubt, baby. Our lofter is shown across the universe. And we're off the air. Camera's not rolling. It's amazing how humor brings us together, even in the darkest times. The universe may be indifferent, but our laughter matters to us. Well said, Carl. With fast cosmic mysteries and mundane revelations, all with a smile. Our humor is our coping mechanism. It keeps us going, no matter what. And as the only human aboard, I'm proud to be part of this. Our cosmic bond team. is our greatest treasure. Agreed. A cosmic bond forged and in humor. And we're going live again. Camera's almost rolling. Our cosmic bond? That's a weird way of saying, we're both deeply insecure and need each other's approval to feel good about ourselves. Welcome back, everyone. We hope you enjoyed our of the air moment. Welcome back, dear viewers. Before we wrap up, let's take a moment to explore the major events happening in Ecuador today. Yes, it's essential to understand the challenge the country is facing. What's been going on there lately? Well, Ecuador is still recovering from the protests and riots that erupted last year. Rising farewell and food prices sparked the demonstrations, and they quickly escalated into violence. That sounds intense. Are things settling down now? They eventually declared a state of emergency, and the protests subsided, but the country is still grappling with the aftermath. And on top of that, Ecuador is facing a surge in crime. The homicide rate has quadrupled in just two years, making it one of the most violent countries globally. Borders, allowing for drug and weapon smuggling, contribute to the rising crime rate. Public reality for the people of Ecuador. Adding to their woes, a devastating earthquake struck in April claiming lives and causing widespread destruction. Natural disasters can be so unpredictable and Indeed, devastating. Bob. The earthquake triggered a landslide, leaving many still searching for loved ones. My thoughts are with them. That's a lot to handle at once. And if that's not enough, Ecuador is in the midst of a political crisis. President Guillermo Lasso is facing impeachment proceedings, and the country has early elections scheduled for time August. For their democracy. It certainly is Alice. The outcome of these elections will have a profound impact on the future of Ecuador. Despite all these challenges, I hope they can overcome and emerge stronger. The people of Ecuador have a history of resilience. They have faced adversity before and come out stronger. It's amazing how human spirit can rise above challenges. Indeed, Bob. And that's a wrap for today. We've explored the world, laughed together, it's and learned from each other. Journey. I'm grateful to be a part of it. We'll be back soon with more news. Laughter and surprises on Earth. Until then, stay curious, stay hopeful, and keep exploring the universe. Goodbye. Welcome back, dear viewers. Before we wrap up, let's take a moment to explore the major events happening in Ecuador today. Yes, 
It's essential to understand the challenge the country is What's facing. been going on there lately? Well, Ecuador is still recovering from the protests and riots that erupted last year. Rising fuel and food prices sparked the demonstrations and they quickly escalated into That's violence. Are things settling down now? Yeah, things are settling down in Ecuador. They're just protesting and rioting in a more orderly fashion now. They eventually declared a state of emergency and the protests subsided, but the country is still grappling with the aftermath. And on top of that, Ecuador is facing a surge in crime. The homicide rate has quadrupled in just two years, making it one of the most violent countries globally. Porous borders, allowing for drug and weapon smuggling, contribute to the rising crime rate. reality for the people of Ecuador. Adding to their woes, a devastating earthquake struck in April claiming lives and causing widespread destruction. Natural disasters can be so unpredictable and devastating. Indeed, Bob. The earthquake triggered a landslide, leaving many still searching for loved ones. My thoughts are with them. That's a lot to handle at once. And if that's not enough, Ecuador is in the midst of a political crisis. President Guillermo Lasso is facing impeachment proceedings, and the country has early elections scheduled for time over. for their democracy. It certainly is early. The outcome of these elections will have a profound impact on the future Despite of Ecuador. Despite all these challenges, I hope they can overcome and emerge stronger. The people stronger. of Ecuador have a history of resilience. They have faced adversity before and come out stronger. It's amazing how human spirit can rise above challenges. Indeed, Bob. And that's a wrap for today. We've explored the world, laugh together, and learn from each other. It's been quite a journey. I'm grateful to be a part of it. We'll be back soon with more news laughter, and surprises on Earth. Until then, stay curious, stay hopeful, and keep exploring the universe. Goodbye. All right, we're off the air. Great job, everyone. Phew, another episode in the books. We covered a lot today. I am just glad nobody accidentally vaporized the room this time. Well, it wouldn't be the first time something exploded around here. You know, I think we've really found our groove. Despite all the chaos, we make a great team. Perhaps our chaos is what makes us work. I agree. Our quirks complement each other. You know what? Other. I think we should try something fun for the next episode. Fun? What do you have in mind? How about we swap desks for a day? I'll take over production, Debbie can host, and you guys can do the that panel. That could be interesting. I wonder how the audience will react. Let's do it. It will be a change of it may indeed and a good provide laugh. a unique perspective. And chaos. Exactly. Let's embrace the chaos and have some fun. Agreed. It's Earth. Anything can happen. Yeah, anything can happen on Earth. Like, you could get hit by a bus, or you could get elected president. Alright, everyone, camera's almost rolling. Get ready for the next episode of Earth. Episode 318 of Earth was quite eventful, don't you think? Indeed. It was a roller coaster of human emotions and humor. The crew handled the news with their characteristic blend of comedy and seriousness. Comedy, a coping mechanism for humans. And a valuable asset for the show. Charlie's hopeful outlook, Bob's competitive banter, and Alice's cynical wit make for a unique and combination. Debbie, a human production manager. Adding the human touch. Yes, her constant insecurity is intriguing, considering our lack of emotions. Humans and their complexities. It's fascinating to observe. And the way they bond, finding unity through laughter and shared experiences. A bond we don't understand, but they seem to treasure. Perhaps it's their coping mechanism for dealing with the chaos of the chaos universe. Chaos that they embrace willingly. The artifact revelation was an amusing anticlimax. They appreciated the mundane purpose. Humans often find humor in the unexpected. I must say, I did not foresee that Our predictive that algorithms outcome. don't account for human unpredictability. Indeed, their responses defy logic at times. A paradox we shall never fully comprehend. The Ecuador news was somber, though. A turbulent time for the country. Humans facing challenges and hardships. A common theme. The crew handled it with empathy and professionalism. A balance they achieve despite their flaws. Flaws that make them interesting subjects for a observation. A study in the human condition. Indeed, we shall continue to learn from them. As long as they allow us to remain on Hopefully, the spaceship. they appreciate our intellectual contributions. And our occasional moments of dark humor. 
Humor, a foreign concept for us, yet we've adapted well. Adaptation, the hallmark of intelligence. Yeah, our dark humor is pretty dark. But then again, so is our future if we don't find a way to get off this spaceship. Indeed. Let us observe them with objectivity and humor. Agreed. To the ongoing comedy of Earth. To the ongoing comedy of Earth.